Alright YouTube, we back. This is the grand finale. We're gonna close it up. Let's talk about these these grills that, that I'm gonna show you in the clip coming up. Three different separate ones. Um we're gonna talk about the first one, right? Then I'll come back and talk about the other two. So without further ado, here's the first video. Let's see what we got going on over here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Boy. Yes, sir. Alright YouTube, we back. Um, you saw the first video. It's your average barbecue, you know, putting charcoal up under the bottom. Direct fire if that's what you want to call it. Um, cooking chicken wings, things of that nature. But the, the key to that one is you have to sit there and maintain it all day long. You mess trying to go to sleep on that, your chicken's burned up, right? That's the benefit of smoking meat. Indirect cooking, putting your charcoal to the side and cooking your chicken and stuff. Nothing wrong with that because the chicken tastes awesome. You let me get a piece of it. Tastes pretty doggone good. I was impressed with the seasoning. Definitely. Thumbs up. Uh, I'm going to call it rated on a scale of 1 to 10. It's probably a 8.5, right? So kudos to that dude. I don't know who he was, what not. Putting in some work on that one. So I'm going to give him a 10.5. Now, fellas, ladies, if I give it a off the chain, that's going to let you know that it's off the chain. This 10 rated 10 plus right so without further ado we're gonna go to this second video try not to make this too long just because you know it is video and i know people get tired of seeing long ass videos so without further ado here's video number two yeah, see what you got going on over here man <laughs> hmm? oh, yeah. Come on. Well, Slap going on. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I work for the sun, come yeah. on, man. I get that brain. Get in. Oh, oh chicken bite on that big ass chicken. Yeah, he bite that yeah, drum. He gotta do a little something. Yeah. He might know a little something. Yeah. yeah, we try to do our best. I know. All right, YouTube, we back. Video number two. What do I say about this one? Excuse the darkness, because we was out there till dark doing this and whatnot, but. The guy had a slab of ribs on there. And here's the problem I have, right? You got ribs on there, and you see the meat drawing up on the bone. It looks like they were t it was time to pull them off. He pulled one slab off, if you see the beginning of the video clip, but he left the other slab on there. And one thing you don't do is tell somebody else how to cook on their grill. Note, right? One, they might hurt your feelings if they think they're a barbecue, a real barbecue. And two, they the ones got to eat it. You don't have to eat it, right? So at the end of the day, I should have told them. It was irking me, but I let it ride. Chicken wings was off the chain once again. I'm going to give them a, a eight because they were pretty, they were okay. I think he really really knew how to uh, maintain his fire because his fire was going out. But once again, I ain't going to give no hints, and it was dark, and I wasn't there to barbecue no way. So I'm going to give him an eight. So shout outs to him for, for doing his thing. Anything below a, 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 a six to me, is you need work, right? That's how we're gonna do that skill. Anything below a six to me, you need work. Eight and above, keep doing what you're doing. And that's my grade scale, all right? So, yeah, he made the cut, he's an eight. He was doing his thing. Shout out to him, keep doing your thing, man. Oh, and in the back, he had a beer can of chicken. Because his fire wasn't that hot, that chicken was gonna be on there forever. Probably gonna be kind of rubbery. Should've maintained his fire, he didn't even know the temp, so kind of hard to cook something when you don't know the temp unless you've been cooking for about 50 years or whatever you know that ain't something you just inherit overnight it ain't an oven where you just set it in uh you already know the temp gonna maintain the same temp all day long so that's another uh hint to him so playboy if you see in this video next time get you some kind of uh, uh temp monitor or something like that or if you, you don't believe in that type of stuff which some people don't Make sure you maintain your fire a little bit hotter on a beer can chicken, man. That way they don't sit that long. It ain't gonna burn out because you got the beer or whatever, soda or whatever, Dr. Pepper. A lot of people use Coca-Cola, stuff like that, Pepsi, uh, pineapple juice. Depending on what flavor you want in your chicken, it ain't gonna burn, it's gonna keep it moist. So you can pump your temperature up a little bit more. So that's a new note for the day, all right? So uh, last but not least, I say the best one for last, right? Just because this was a unique design on this grill. So without further ado, we're going to go into video number three and the last one for the day, video number three. Be back. 
comment below and tell me what you think about this grill right because it was interesting you know when I when I first saw it I was walking up on it. one it was a trailer grill you get bonus points for me for that you know what I mean because a lot of people don't have trailer grills that you can grill in your backyard and then take it and take it somewhere down the street to your friend's house your neighbor house or whatever and and then still do the same thing two when he opened it up he told me one of his brothers used to play for the Georgia Bulldogs which kind of sucks but whatever um, and he actually went pro. Didn't get a chance to catch his name just so I can look him up, but whatever. Um, just take his word for it. But anyway, we're talking about the grill. So this grill, when he opened it up, I thought it was going to be your traditional two-door, maybe 150-gallon tank with two doors on it. But when he opened the first one up, I looked, and I was like, I don't see a side, a side fire box. So I'm like, where your fire coming from? So I thought he had charcoal up under the bottom. To my surprise, this was a unique design. Never seen this before. He had baskets, so go back and look at this video. He had baskets, three different baskets that he used. He uses as a charcoal burner, but he puts like logs in there just to get the smoke flavor. And I thought that was unique. That is actually outstanding too, man, to me. Because he had one in the middle, and all he did was, he had a chimney, I was watching him, he had a chimney. Uh, he would light it with charcoal till it get good and hot, and he would pour the coals in there as they go down, the hot coals in there and then stick a log on there to get the smoke. So if you look at it again, look at each side, the left side, when he opens the second door, look at the right side, and you'll see the piece of wood sitting on top of the charcoal. And then look in the dead center of the video, and you'll see that one. I thought that was a unique video. So his grill is gonna get a 9.5 for creativity with me because I've never seen that, and it makes a lot of sense to me. Right, he was able to put a, a, a ample amount of meat in there. I got a, the, the duck point five on it because he didn't have a second rack. Second rack would have made that an off the chain uh, grill totally. You know what I mean? Where you could do meat. Like he could have put his hot dogs or his sausage that you saw on there on the top rack so they're not too close to the meat. Because if, if you know about hot dogs, they'll swell up and bust on you if you don't watch them. Right? But anyway, the design was off the chain. So I'm going to give him a 9.5. Shout out to him. Keep doing your thing. I appreciate y'all for allowing me to record you. Thank you. If you have videos, that you would like for me to uh, critique uh, on your grill, shoot the videos, send them to me, <laughs> email address, I'm going to put it on the screen as I tell you, it's D-E-E-N-I-Z-E -E -E at gmail.com. So send me, send me your videos or whatnot, and I'll put them up and do a video on it, and then we'll go from there. Thanks for looking. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the like button, yo. Hit the like button, because what that does for me is it when you do a search for videos, I'll come up before some other people if I have enough likes on them. But anyway, if not, I appreciate you looking and viewing. Like I said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and coming with me when we go to the Georgia, Florida biggest tailgating in the world event. And this is Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. I'll let you boy. Peace.